Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rosquit. Uh, today we're going to continue our adventure in Jack 2 as, if I remember correctly, we now have to go back out to the Outlands to help Sig with something, who, one of my favorite characters, uh, one of the best voice actors of all time, I think it's, um, no, it's not Philomar. Is it Philomar? If it's Phil Lamar, then that's even better, because that's Samurai Jack and all those other great hero characters. I believe... Oh, it's a little loud in my ear. Goodbye. Hope you can swim. Sorry. Yeah, it's amazing the transition with these games, because... The first game was very much Mario 64. You go into a wide open area, you have a bunch of objectives to do. Then you come into this one, and it's literally like Grand Theft Auto. You have a big open city, um, areas open up as you go farther. It is really dark in here. Forgot how dark this game gets like during nighttime. If you're going that way, I'm going this way. Excuse me. It's a no hover zone, but there's a lot of hover vehicles in here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Come on, I tap one military police vehicle and all of a sudden it's like, hey, we gotta kill you. Take those. Hello, cherries. Ready to hunt a few metalheads? Follow me, stick close, and watch my six. It's gonna be fun. Here we go. Here comes trouble. <laughs> Trying to remember the spot. Get behind me while I toast that tank. Ah, now I remember this. Hey, look, I made a new path. Don't say anything. <laughs> great, great. Don't get caught. 
Trying not to. Did you miss me? Give it. Give me. Across the bridge before they come back. Put it on this way. There's our first target. Keep the other creatures back while I charge up the peacemaker. Get him stuck. Did I? Uh, how do I get back up? Oh, the game glitched me. Oh, hello. Well, I guess that works out. Here we go. Here comes trouble. Thanks, Seg. Get behind me while I toast that tank. But excuse me. This way. All right. No, I would have been fine if I hadn't fallen. Those bad boys up ahead. Great, kid, great. Don't get caught. Did you miss me? Let's get across the bridge before they come back. There's our first target. Keep the other creatures back while I charge up the peacemaker. Come on. <laughs> I just love his character. That's one fried metalhead. Let's get to the next target. Heads, I say shoot first, ask questions later. I'm gonna go along with you on that. There's the second scumbag. Sit. Cover me! Really? Oh, that metalhead skull go away? Boom, baby! One less metalhead to think about. Oh yeah, it went away. Shit. I didn't know they I didn't know they um, have a spawn time. Find anything to collect? I can't really tell. Working on it. Great, no time to celebrate. Watch my six while I toast this bad boy. The trick is to not hit the pipes. Now, 
what I call blowing someone's mind. Oh man, they don't stay along. Oh wait, no, here it is. Gotcha. <laughs> Metalhead Bombay. Look out! We got Pepsi! Damn, my gun's jammed! Take over! <laughs> Last one. Tell crew we got them all cooked and canned. I'm gonna clean Peacemaker and pick up the trophy. You did good, rookie. <laughs> I love him. That's actually very nice. Ooh, do I have enough? I need a pit stop real quick. I think I have twenty five. Yes, I got 28.
Thank you. Good. Excellent. Thank you. All the way back to where we just were. See, this is why this game takes so long. It's the constant back and forth along the entire city. And usually along the way, you'll bump into, like, one Crimson Guard member. It just causes everyone to come after you wrong way. Ah, oh, that was almost a perfect slow drift. The slowest drift in history. Ooh, wait. Ah, back away. So this is the thing where I... Are you serious? Yeah, try again. We're just gonna do this. At least, like, I, something I was saying in the last game, it's not like, Hi, you have to reach all the way from the You have to take yourself all the way back over to it. Oh my god. Oh my god! This is the infuriating part of the game. Remember why at the first episode, it was, I said it was the races and time trials that were the issue? Look, I missed the first one because of a Crimson Guard. Back off. Nope. the way that's this way this way going high going low I will get it. It's not impossible. Oh, look, there's a Crimson Guard right in the angle I need right at the beginning. Eventually you start memorizing which ones are high and which ones are low. Did 
did I? Or are you just incompetent? Oi, you idiot. Right in my path. I think you're low. Hi. Ah. Uh. Oh, and I got it. I heard it click after the time went out. I was like... Ugh. Okay. Oh wow, that actually counted. I'm surprised with this game. How did I actually make that? I think it's low next. Ah, that was the last one. Oh, sweet. Please move. Please move. Yeah, that's where I was when this started. Good, we're in a maneuverable vehicle. No, you're trying. Well, high speed to you. You think it's just like. No. Thank you. I'm gonna take that. Almost made it through. Oops, over here. vehicles or anything coming after me. Excellent. Hello, sir. You boys are turning out to be quite useful, eh? Mm -hmm. I have another task for you. The sewers used to be a fabulous smuggling route for me before the Baron installed security devices. And before those late night snack runs kept you from fitting out the front door. I bet you've hatched another brilliant plan in that hungry little brain of yours. So, who or what do we have to shake down, knock out, or blow up? Well, I need someone to go down and shoot every sentry gun in the sewers. And I'll give you a sweet weapon upgrade if you succeed. Let me guess. Dank murky water? Reeks worse than your breath at an oyster fest? 
fuller of metalheads than your plate at a one-pass buffet? And of course, weapons more lethal than your ever so tidy whiteies on a hot summer day. Look, Donut Hall, why don't we float around here looking hot and heavy, and you go roto root the pipes? We're not doing anything until you tell us why metalheads are trading with the Baron's forces. Oh, I should have had some boat kneecapped, eh? All I know is that the Baron caught a desperate dealer with a metalhead leader. Metalheads need eco, so the Baron supplies them with regular shipments. In return, the metalheads agree to attack the city just enough to satisfy the Baron's continued rule. Yeah, but how long can that deal last? Well, the Baron is running short on eco, eh? And the metalheads are short on patience. Oh, I never and noticed the music here. Needs this wall to keep in power. Otherwise, the city would put the true ruler on the throne, wherever that little brat is. Daxter and I will clear your sewers. And we haven't forgotten about that weapons upgrade you promised in return. Bloodsuckers. Well, that's you. Alright, so that was helping out Sig and then doing a time trial. Screw that time trial. I remembered most of it, even after all this time, but there were still like two of them that I couldn't remember exactly where they were, including the last one because I had it and then I just kept going straight right by it. But anyway, thank you for joining me for another episode of Rosquit. As much as this game infuriates me sometimes, I still love it. Uh, and I can't wait to continue and beat it. So uh, thank you very much for joining me. Uh... If you liked the episode, please like, comment, subscribe down below, and we will continue this adventure next time. So, see you later, everyone.